we didn't talk about politics. We talked about policy. And we talked about a lot of issues in terms of policy from infrastructure to fair wages to growing the economy. How do we grow the middle class? And one of the things that we talked about then, three and a half years ago, that is so apropos to have the Brady campaign with us here today is what makes sense for real gun policies. As a city besieged by gun violence, I am delighted that the Brady campaign is here today making this endorsement, this fight on crime. I want them and I know they will be partners with us as will be our new governor uh, when elected to fight on this violence of guns in our community. Hearing the news and reading the stories, I was sad and I was mad. I, made, I know that all of you were. But sadly, we have been through this before. Certainly Columbine, Virginia Tech, Aurora, Sandy Hook, and the daily toll on lives and families in our cities and towns right here in New Jersey should have awakened our state and federal government prompt act to prompt action. We have had enough. Here in New Jersey, we need to take a stand against gun violence. Chris Christie and his administration vetoed every gun violence prevention law we, we uh, sponsored. As governor, Phil has pledged to sign, support, champion every measure to prevent gun violence that comes across his desk and to reverse the damage that our current governor has done. I know that Sarah and Jim Brady would be proud to see the Brady campaign stand behind courageous candidates like Phil Murphy. Thank you, Carol. I couldn't be prouder to be here today to endorse my friend Phil Murphy in his bid to be the governor of our great state. Unlike our current governor, Chris Christie, and his lieutenant governor, Kim Guadano, Phil has made gun violence prevention a core policy issue. And we have been reminded with terrible force this past week why this issue is so important to all Americans. Gun violence is a public health crisis. <coughs> it erodes the foundation of our most fragile communities. The communities that need our support and assistance the most. Phil and his wife Tammy have met with numerous New Jerseyans who have been injured or lost loved ones to this epidemic of gun violence. Their tragic stories have strengthened his resolve to lead an administration free from the influence of the gun lobby. If you see something, say something. Anyone who understands Homeland Security as I do knows if you see something, say something. I can't say that enough. And don't worry about looking like a fool. You're going to save lives. Okay. And ensuring that parents know the facts about the safety of guns in the home and safe storage. Why offer solutions when you can't see the problem? That's the Christie Guadano gun lobby approach. Well, that's not Phil Murphy's approach. Phil sees that gun violence is a problem in need of common sense solutions. From the day that Phil Murphy declared his candidacy for governor, <coughs> he has been advocating for common sense gun reforms that will make this a safer New Jersey, a better New Jersey. My late mother would remind me, you're known by the company you keep. <laughs> uh, and I'm keeping darn, darn good company with the Brady campaign and the other allied organizations um, this morning. The awful tragedy in Las Vegas is just now a new reminder, uh, front page, uh, but the reality is the reminders come with, with regularity, as Kevin said, and we can't forget uh, in a community like Trenton or in many other communities in the state, uh, it's the daily drumbeat in many cases that don't make the front page of the newspaper. It's a reality that our communities have to live with every single day. Um, secondly, relatedly, uh, we believe with all our hearts we can make the gun safety laws in this state, which admittedly on a national scale are rel relatively strong. We believe we can make them stronger. Even if we save one life, it will have been worth it. Um, we believe we can make them stronger and make our community safer. Uh, while respecting uh, the Second Amendment. There are some who here, some on the other side, the governor would be one of them, lieutenant governor, would lead you to believe that the, you're either or, and I reject that completely. 
we can make our communities safer with stronger gun safety laws and still respect the Second Amendment. Um, thirdly, I reject completely this notion, and we heard too much of it last week, that quote unquote, now is not the time. Um, and I would ask rhetorically, as many have asked, uh, well, well, was it the time for those 58 innocent people in Las Vegas on Sunday night to lose their lives? Did they sign up for that moment in time? Certainly not, this is exactly the right time. And then if that weren't enough, um, I have to say, without getting terribly political about this, uh, the person I'm running against said, went from now is not the time to actually I think we've got all the laws we need. And I think made an exception only later in the week when the NRA themselves opened the permission slip to consider uh, a bump stock uh, legislation. Um, so that now is exactly the time. Whether it's to prevent the next front page awful mass event like we saw on Sunday, or whether it's to help mayors like Mayor Jackson and communities around the state to deal with the steady daily drumbeat uh, that we know, we just know for a fact that there are laws that can be put in place that would strengthen our, our prospects of not only uh, um, pushing back on the notion of another big event, but also to help out in the day in and, and, and day out a reality that, that the communities around the state face. I've also come to the conclusion, and we've talked about this, Kevin, um, that we're, we're stronger if, in the absence of a wholesale gun safety regulation at the national level, uh, we're, we're, I think, I'd like to rip a page out of the playbook of other policy areas. Climate is the one that comes to mind, where it, it's not just good enough, yes, we need to be best in class in New Jersey, but boy, we have a much better shot of dealing with climate change if we do it with a collection of like-minded states in the absence of something stronger at the national level. And I can't believe with this president and this Congress that we're gonna get what we need at the national level. I think the same can be said about gun safety. Um, particularly, again, admittedly in a state where, depending on who you ask, 70 to 80% of the gun-related crimes are committed with guns that come in from outside of New Jersey. Uh, not only do we need to be best in class, and we will be if we get elected um, four weeks from tomorrow, uh, and, and uh, again, that's worth it even if it saves one life. Uh, we will be best in class. But it would be also, in addition to that, I think a very sensible notion to bond with other like-minded um, states. Um, obviously ones that are adjacent because of the traffic in and out of our borders, uh, but as many as possible. And so I, I, I'm, I wanna raise my hand and say not, not only let's get New Jersey back on its feet, let's keep fighting like heck uh, for national legislation, but let's, as at least as if, if we need to, as an interim step, uh, find some sort of a regional solution. Uh, tightening up background checks, exactly how we could do that. These folks will be much more expert uh, than I. Um, I'd like to uh, consider, uh, uh, which we've talked a lot about, a tax on the particular types of guns that we want to discourage, the proceeds of which would go back into areas that we all acknowledge need to be strengthened. The two that we've talked about are our law enforcement programs and mental illness programs, which clearly, you know, th that's not, those are adjacent uh, realities. Uh, we got to get elected, so that's four weeks from tomorrow. Pesky little detail, we got to get over the goal line first. <laughs> so we haven't, you know, we're not getting out ahead of ourselves here. Okay, yeah. thank you folks thank very much for coming out. And again, thank you folks. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out, man. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. How are the moms? Thank you so much. How are you? Thank you so much. I appreciate it.